Hello and one and all and welcome back to yet another video. So if you remember back a while ago this year I did a life update video on what was going on with me. Well I have like two more videos that I've planned to do this year so technically you could say it's a three-parter um, life update dealing with me. So um, the first um, life update video I did earlier this year um, was basically just me on my thoughts on um, how movies are now these days, what kind of the movies, how we don't get the ones we don't get anymore, or why are movies um, so long now these days, mainly probably because of, well, the cost of living. <laughs> and also just a little hint how um, I'm going to um, how I've been coping as well with my normal life, which I'm sort of gathering more into um, this video here, this two-parter. Um, it's going to be more on my educational journey, you know, not going to get too personal, of course. I'm not going to mention anyone, just going to be me, how I feel. My third parter, my final parter, is going to um, be the future of the channel, um, because with this video, I believe that will enhance that video if I made it before this video, so I thought why not do the educational um, discussion now um, before I do the channel, um, future of the channel, so some exciting things um, have been going on with me. I've left college and education in general. Whew. Been waiting to say that for a long time. So I'm not just going to necessarily talk about school, college, what have you, because I've left them constantly. I'm also going to talk about um, the future of what I'm going to do with myself, not about the YouTube channel, because that's the next video, which I'll probably do in August or something. It's mainly just about um, me, educational journey in general. So um, basically, I was never really all that perfect. I mean, technically speaking, um, nobody is. I mean, how possible could it be? You know, um, there were things that I was unable to do when I was a uh, a young kid, um, you know, I, there were food aspects that I, um, couldn't cope with properly until now, look at me, <laughs> I just wanted the same, the same stuff over and over again, even if something healthy was technically considered a snackish. I've cruisingly got there. I'm not saying how. That's sort of one thing about my educational journey, I think. You know, but everybody's educational journey is different, I can imagine. And then again, I'm making this the best as possible. Okay. So, um, I've joined school. I was at school for... Um, God, for a ton of years now, I am excluding college because that's different. And I am also going to touch it a little bit with the difference between the UK and the US. Um, not a whole bunch because I don't know too much about the US because I'm not from the US, I'm from the UK. So, so I was born in Chelmsford, um, you know, as you all know, I'm from England. I've got a British accent. I speak English. Um, maybe not necessarily fully on English, but my accent is probably more relatable to how I speak in regards to slang words, you know. So then I moved to Northern Ireland in September, August-ish, 2007-ish. You know, so if you remember the old shop Woolworths, at least that was still a thing whenever I moved here, so. <laughs> but yeah, that will be thing uh, remembered. God, I miss that place. 
what it would be like if YouTubers did Blu-ray hunting videos and Woolworths if that was still a thing. But, you know. So I went to the, I went to a new school. I was with the previous school for a couple to three years. I, I don't know. But I joined my school in Northern Ireland. And I'm not saying what school it is because I don't want to cause trouble. I uh, went there. Um, at times it can be scary because, you know, it, you know, you're meeting new people, you know, teachers, friends, pupils, students, wherever you, or colleagues, no matter where you go, whether it's school, college, work, or just a club. In general, whatever it is you're going to, of course you're going to know the majority of your family members in your family, because I certainly do. Um, and before I continue on with my um, educational journey, um, you'll know this is not my main background. I usually do my movie reviews at my desk there. Um, and I am going to quit saying that in, in these types of videos. I'm going to refuse stopping because this is a lovely background. I love showing this. I think it's more um, appropriate to do different discussions rather than just a movie review. Anyways, um, I forgot to say that in the beginning of this video. I can't remember, but I do forget my brain's old. So... <laughs> um. So of course got better and better, you know, then about 2014, 2015-ish, I was fully getting into movies, you know. I did watch movies, technically. I did obviously watch Star Wars, Indiana Jones, and some Pixar films, you know. Um, not a lot of superhero stuff, unfortunately. Don't know why. <laughs> God help me. Um, so... So about 2014 to 2015-ish, I was fully getting into movies, you know. So, um, so 2014, that was kind of the year where I was starting to get closer, figuring out um, what I wanted to do. Because as a kid, I was just getting along, just going along with it. But as you get older, you realise, okay, I like this. I want to do this, do something like this, whatever I want with this whether it's a hobby or just something I want to work for. And for a while, before I joined a, a college course, that was me then. So then, of course, in late um, 2015, November um, the 8th of 2015, I know I'm touching on my channel and I sh probably shouldn't be until the next video, but for this life update series. I, I birthed it in the 8th of November 2015, but then I didn't make my first video until the 10th of November 2015. So this is just me basically learning how to control it. Everybody's video is bad when you start making YouTube. It's true, you know, it's going to turn out really, really bad, and, you know, even I admit that, because I look completely young. Um, you can watch my first ever YouTube video want. I hate it with a passion, to say the least. I mean, directors hate their own stuff anyway, even if people love it or hate it, or either way. You know, that's just the nature, I'm afraid. Then, of course, I started using my computer because I didn't realise, oh, you can actually shoot videos on your camera and act on your camera for your computer, like a laptop, and actually upload them from onto YouTube, which I thought was fantastic. And um, it really just grew on me. Then I, of course, got to meet all these um, uh, YouTubers then my friendship community was growing. 
I didn't go full on um, social media ish until about 2016 ish, where I started my Facebook account. Then about 27, I started my Twitter, which is having so much problems right now. God help that. And of course, Instagram. I would often use Instagram because that and Facebook are so linked together pretty much, you know. So. So I, of course, started to engage more of that, you know, some people older than me will probably think, oh, I'm just going to stick to what was back in the olden time. And, you know, it is what it is. I do agree. I do physically want to. But social media is, is just like a thing. OK, this is something I enjoy. I'm going to keep doing this so I can continue to like people's stuff, posts and actually, you know, communicate. You know, I'm clicking my fingers too much, but you know. So then um, I was in my final years about um, 27 to 17 ish, I think. So, you know, I, of course, was starting to gain more mature. And that was when I started to travel independently myself. Well, walking mainly um i don't drive yet i am physically trying to um drive but so much has been delaying after delays even when i was 17 i've wanted to drive parents say look good look it's good to leave it for a while anyway you know well depending how skilled you are or capable you are People are that desperate, you know, which is kind of an understatement. Okay. Then in like my final year at school, um, I sort of started to travel on the bus a bit more, you know. Then 2019, I finished school, obviously, you know, so. You know, back in 2015-ish, I started to hang out with friends, going off to see movies, going to their houses, going to have some fun, you know, that was all good. Um, so in 2019, I started going to college because I wanted to do this thing, in which is a thing in the UK, um, England, Wales and Northern Ireland, they call essential skills. Where basically in those countries you um, tend to do these essentially or essential. Is it essential to do this? Primarily it is until you can actually pursue a job. And um, which I can somewhat see, I, which was why I joined college in the first place. Then I realised, OK, um, those two media courses, level two and level three, you know, they cover all things media, not just video stuff, which is my favourite element. Because it pretty much just has everything you want in a anything media related, because one, it's on camera, it's recorded and you hear something, you know. It's just like having photography and audio combined, pretty much. You, of course, do get audio, the likes of um, radio, you know, like podcasts, uh, a radio thing that's live or adverts, you know, or a two way. If you don't know what a two way is, basically, um, it's like imagining as if it was live, but it's pre-recorded. So it's basically a pre-recorded thing, but there are no cuts in it. So if you make a mistake, you would either correct something or you just skip it or just move on. So basically, there are no edits in it, but it's pre-recorded. And that is a two-way cross between pre-recorded and live, of course. Then in 2020, we of course had the coronavirus pandemic, which has been slowly going away, which is 
great, you know, I've been going out more, obviously. Um, so then, of course, in 2020, I went on to do my me. Of course, I was, of course, still doing my essential skills then. Um, it was all online. Oh, my God. God, where do I begin? Like, because I didn't have many, many friends at Tech, which is what we tend to call it in the UK. Don't know what the US do, but I'm calling it college anyway. Um, part of the reason I didn't have many friends to communicate as much as school was that COVID obviously it was online. So I had to do work online. And you know, it was pretty good. You know, I got to use apps, you know, Photopea, um, Audacity, and then a couple of video um, softwares, you know, so, you know, then I, of course, went to do the level three course back in tech, still could not communicate okay, because people are just people, you know, as much as I want to, I tend to just go along with it anyway, because I do physically want to. But there's also things that I do want to do, all right? So think properly. <laughs> then, of course, I did my final year. I've been at college for four years, so my fourth year was my last year. Um, this year, technically, I've finished. So in September 2022, 20, I got uh, new friends, um, you know, you know, the easygoing. You know, I'm like, oh, where are the friends? I've had friends, yes, but I haven't got friends that are exactly like me, who are respectful and easygoing. Well, it seems like I got them, you know, and I would often see them from time to time throughout my final year at college, you know, and continue my friendship, particularly with one person, so... What am I going to say now? Um, so, how I felt about media, because it's related to movies anyway. So, I've enjoyed um, media anyway, even though communication was hard. I did technically, just not outside of college, if you know what I mean. You know, I've got to learn more bits and pieces. You know, photography, I've learned. I've got increasingly better, especially in my last year. You know... Because I made a website on the Belfast capital city in Northern Ireland. Website is my final major project. And, and I'm quite impressed with the way it's turned out. I made a website. And um, yeah. You know, and I'd be quite happy to continue pursuing it. If you guys have me on Facebook or Instagram, you can definitely um, see where I'm coming from, you know. And I will, of course, do that through it. I'm not going to mention it on this YouTube channel because I am trying to keep this as a movie-related channel. But it's sort of it's sort of a thing that I'm going to rarely talk about um, whenever I just feel like it, I guess. But then it... Again, I will tend to anyway, because it's something that I've enjoyed, you know. But where I live in Northern Ireland, there's quite a few Game of Thrones, you know, locations. So might as well do some of the who's, you know. I've done photos around places in my area, and I would love to do more of that. And show you guys and make a proper website, you know, since I'm not doing a media course anymore. And I'm going to give you guys some overall thoughts. I don't know if I'm ready for the media industry. The reason why I joined college in the first place because of essential skills, because my school didn't do them. It wasn't a grammar school where you would do, um, in the UK, GCSEs or A-levels. Didn't have any of them. It was all entry level, the lowest of the lowest, to say the least. So then I started doing level up in um, college 
which was great. Should have gotten better at. There is literally only one the way my results won. Because last year I failed it and I did a reset again, so um it's just all the better for it. And I if you're wondering what I think about um sexuality, I am not against sexuality. Everybody is entitled to themselves. You know, if you're gay, you're gay. If you're straight, like myself, I'm straight. Maybe I'm not necessarily 100% straight. Because there are guys out there, you know, sometimes people just don't feel comfortable, you know. Saying, oh, this person's so attractive, even though he looks gay. Or she looks straight, what have you. Or that person's just not interested in dating someone. Then, you know, it's all the better for it. There's quite a few people out there. Um, you know, as much as I want to, t to explain my sexuality, I get quite a bit of hatred and get made fun of, you know. Because you often see, because I've often seen that at school, you know. Not just school, but anywhere really, on YouTube, everywhere, you can find stuff like that. And, um, doesn't, because I'm le I'm not going to pursue media anymore, doesn't mean that I am going to stop loving it. Nope. Which leads me to something that I want to talk about in my future of the channel, which is my life update part three. This is part two, which I've said many times, I'm sorry, but it's something that I want to discuss a bit more in that. You'll find out anyway. Um, but I found media quite hard, to say the least, because whenever I applied them for them, both of the courses anyway, whenever I got to doing them, you know, they've said, um, you know, creative media production. You know, look what's out there, you know. Um, here's this, you know. And I'm not saying who my tutors are, obviously. Um, but they've had had a word with me saying, look, Joseph, you've got a very, very great sense of knowledge out there. You have that knowledge. However, though, you need to speed up when you work, because no matter if you pursue this industry, you're going to have to work the time you tell. Even if you're a director, your producers could tell you that, you know. So that's not me saying my tutors say that. Elements a bit saying. Shift up the gears, all right? Work as quick as possible, you know, so we can um, get stuff on time, hit the deadlines, you know, get it done and over with, so you can just move on, you know. You know, and I have realised that, and I don't know if I'm ready to be in the film industry as well, to be honest with you guys, because... I did a short film in the level 2 course, it was here, it was all online, so <laughs> I was the only actor in it. I, there was two characters in my short film and I got to play them both, and I didn't get any feedback from them, thankfully, because I just wanted to move along with it, even though I passed my level 2 course, so, which was back in 2021, so yeah, I um, made a short film, you know, I'm breaking news saying the virus is over, it's about to finish. Fortunately, it wasn't the type of movie I wanted to make though. I will admit though, guys, I don't know if I'm ready to make films, honestly. I know there's a crap ton of people out there that are, you know, and I'm generally happy for them, and I would love to see their films if they ever get put on the big screen, you know. 
whether they're short films, documentaries just, or films that are just extremely long, or if they're suitable for streaming, might as well then. But oh my god, guys, leaving college and school both, it just feels like a giant weight has lifted me up from my shoulders. You know, not only leaving both of them, college and school, but talking to you guys about this in general. And I know it didn't say completely everything. There's probably bits and pieces that I've missed. But I don't want this to be an extremely long video. Otherwise, I'm just going to be forever and ever. I don't want this video to be in like an hour long. Because... It just is what it is. You just got to keep your time limits to an extent. And one more thing, um, another reason I'm going to do my um, future of the channel, um, life update part three, guys, well, life update part three, wherever you want to call this series, it's up to you, do what you want. Um, right now, I am trying to look for a job. So, and I will go into more detail with that in the future of the channel they still going to be doing movie reviews it's just going to be a little bit different to an extent but you'll find out what it is and also movie discussions might not necessarily just be movie reviews they could be discussions in general and i have one in particular that i'm going to do um the up and coming month and you'll find out what it is before I go on to holiday. So yeah, I've got a holiday um, mid-July. So hope you guys have enjoyed um, something from this video, guys. You know, comment down below, let me know below, guys, um, if you want to anyway. How did you guys feel about education in general? I myself have had a 50-50 time with it. You know, for the most part, I've coped well, you know, but there are times, you know, if you just don't, if there's bad stuff that have happened, you just don't feel comfortable saying that. And that's the honest truth. Even though I do lie to my parents saying, well, it's all good. Because if I say no, then they'd just be like, why? Everything negative response that anybody out there can just go, why? Just why? <laughs> Anyways, it is what it is. Um, but I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Um, I did this the best I could. Um, but maybe the um, future of this channel will probably be a better video. But this I wanted to make. Because it would just make more sense if I was doing this. Which will enhance the video of the future of the channel. So I wanted to make this type of video now. So, um, you know, comment, like, subscribe share the video notify the bell before you leave as always guys um um i'll see you in the next video i shall see you then and peace take care guys